Okay, this is one of those problems that um, only the twisted of minds would ever think of. Uh, yes, I'm talking about math teachers. Anyway, uh, what we're given here is that there's a right triangle. Okay, we see there's a right triangle. And we have these medians that are drawn from the vertices of the acute angles. And then we have the lengths of the medians themselves. And so what we're being asked is the length of the hypotenuse. So what we want is the length of this character right here, the hypotenuse. So uh, I have not drawn this triangle to uh, proportions. I've only drawn it just to help me think this through and discuss this. So this might not be exactly what the tri triangle would look like, but we do know it's a right triangle. So let's use that as an example as we try to figure out um, exactly how we would go about uh, solving this problem. So the medians are being drawn from the acute angles and they go down and intersect the center of uh, one of the legs of the right triangle. That's the whole definition of uh, what a median is. And let me uh, leave that one uh, green and let me draw the other one. I'm going to draw it. Well, okay, fine. Um, I'll do that then. I'll draw that one in red and then I'll draw the next one in green. Okay, so I'm going to go from this acute angle to about the center of that. And like I said, this isn't the scale, so I'm not really that worried about uh, exactness. This is just to help me think it through. Now, what we have here um, is we've created two more triangles. So let me uh, pick another color. Let's go with a nice uh, dark blue. And I'm going to draw out what we've got in the way of another uh, triangle here. You see, we have this triangle. It uh, comes along here. And it goes along here, and then this red line actually completes it and makes it a right triangle in and of itself. Now, I don't know the length of y or x, but I do know that um, the length of this section is going to be half of x, just like the length of this section would be half of x. So, I have y, half of x, and then I'm going to pick one of these and... For right now, I think I'm just going to pick this guy right here. I'm going to let him be the length of this hypotenuse. So you see how that works? The medians become their own hypotenuses for these new uh, triangles that are created. By assigning uh, this one to the hypotenuse, I can just write down the Pythagorean theorem here. The hypotenuse squared equals this side, which is x over 2 squared, plus uh, this side squared. So that's how we get that equation. Now, when we square this side over here, this is going to make it uh, nice and easy and go to a real number for us. Um, 4 times 13 is what uh, we get over here. Over here, when we square, we get the x squared over 4 because the denominator 2 got squared to 4. And then y is also squared. When we multiply things out and arrange the equation, we have this. So that's a pretty good start there on having... Uh, an equation in terms of y squared. Now let's look at our other uh, triangle, the green one here. We can uh, use Pythagorean theorems again with that because we have x uh, on the bottom, one half of y here, and then the square root of 73 for the hypotenuse. The Pythagorean theorem written out for the green triangle. And then as we solve everything, we get it down to a point right where we've also got it in terms of the uh, y squared. So uh, y squared, y squared. Now we can set these two sides of the equation equal to uh, the, each other. So we just uh, rearrange the equation. Then we uh, divide both sides by uh, well, we divide both of these elements by 4. In order to do that, we have to multiply this one by 4. So we basically multiply 4 over 4. And when we uh, do that, we get 16 over 4. We subtract uh, the x squared over 4. We get 15x squared over 4. And, of course, we just go ahead and do this math here. And then once we do that, we uh, have 15x squared equals 240 times 4 because we multiply both sides by 4. Then we have to divide both sides by 15. And so that's when it starts to get really interesting, is uh, we divide both sides by 15. And 
then we have to actually uh, start doing some math here. And so that's how we get to x squared equals 64. Uh, it's just plugging in the numbers. Now I'm going to tell you a little uh, quiz shortcut here. I could go ahead and take the square root of uh, x squared and 64 and, and come up with x equals 8, but I don't actually need x at this point. Because what I can do at this point is I can just take this x squared, which is 64, and I can plug it back into this equation right here as long as I um, know that I'm going to have x squared. I'll just take this x squared equals 64. I'll just put 64 there, and then I'll complete this equation on out. So let me, uh, let me kind of move down here a little bit because I took up all my space over here. So I just... Uh, put that 64 there where the x squared is and then uh, now it's just a simple matter of uh, doing the math on this to come up with what y squared equals and now that I know y squared is uh, 36 and x squared is 64 I could again take those square roots but I don't need to because what am I going to ultimately do here I'm going to take um, and use x squared plus y squared to get the hypotenuse over here squared. So basically all I need to do is add 36 to 64 and then take the square root of whatever that is. So the 36 from here, the 64 from here, that equals h squared. Then uh, 36 plus 64 is 100. So I can just put that in real quick. And I take the square root of 100 to give me h and then what that ultimately ends up meaning is that uh, 10 is equal to h. So h right here equals 10. And that is how you do that one.